at the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project in the Meerkat Magic Valley Reserve. And I'm very fortunate to see the breeding cycle of a very rarely sighted locust here on the reserve. And as I mentioned recently in one of my video clips about this locust, it uses aposmatic or warning markings to advertise boldly how toxic it is to any potential predators. It has bright yellow on the abdomen and black and orange and red, all of which are known to be warning marks. And any potential predator would usually think twice before attacking a species like this. And if it has encountered them in the past, it has probably got so sick from the poison that it would remember the encounter and avoid this particular species again. As also mentioned in a previous video clip about the locust that wasn't seen mating as is the case here, which as I mentioned is very rare to see with the species. The well-known forms of Batesian mimicry are with the Viceroy butterfly, which is a very palatable species of butterfly. Batesian mimicking or mimicking or pretending basically to look like an unpalatable species known as the monarch. So the Viceroy uses Batesian mimicry to look like the monarch butterfly. And this is also known as convergent development or convergent evolution. There you can see the bright yellow abdomen on the female below there. She's much, much larger than the male. And when she's gravid, she'll carry the eggs and then lay them in a little depression in the soil. Because of the recent rainfall, the soil is nice and soft and it's an ideal time for opportunists like this to exploit the softer soil, which means less energy is expended digging the holes. And that's why a lot of beetle species like the carabid, coleoptera beetle are also mating at this time of the year, just after the recent rainfall we've had. Going back to Batesian mimicry. So Batesian mimicry basically is a species that is unpalatable, is gradually over time mimicked by a palatable species. And the palatable species basically gets left alone and the more often it's left alone the more often that particular mutant allele or genetic trait will be passed along to the next generation who will then look even more and more similar to the one that is unpalatable and predators will again leave this alone so over a great deal of time palatable species look more and more like unpalatable species which allows them to basically hide in the open in plain sight so unlike the bark locust, which I've also filmed on the reserve, which is highly cryptic, either very gray or mottled brown with spots. The ones using Batesian mimicry or aposmatic markings such as this anti-predator warning have no need to hide.